Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to do a quick practice climb. I'm going to try to attach the GoPro to my head so that way we can do it like first person and you can see as we climb. Um, just real quick before I start, I want to go ahead and show you a quick tip that I kind of figured out. So with this Phantom saddle, as I walk, I've noticed that it, it tends to loosen up just a little bit and I can't seem to quite get it tight enough. Um, so what I kind of figured out was if you take your left hand and you grab your light right lineman's loop like this so take your left hand grab your lineman's loop and then grab that strap if you pull up and towards yourself with the lineman's loop and then pull that strap over it'll cinch you down way tighter and it's going to keep it tight on your walk through the woods So I got my GoPro on. We're gonna have to go ahead and get ready for the climb. And detach our sticks. Got my platform in here. Go ahead and get it on my back. All right. So the goal is gonna be. I'm going to try to get up there, right below those leaves. So I'm going to climb up this side of the tree and then I'm going to set up on the back side. Now, just as a disclaimer, all right, this aider is homemade, all right, so do not do this. Do not do this at all. Could have set that higher for sure. Check that out. See that? That's cool. All right. Next two sticks. I'm gonna go two over here. Now, one of the things I learned from my last climb was that I need these sticks higher on my side because they get caught down here on my leg. So what we'll try to do is run these all the way up into my rib cage. Well, let's just touch the back one. Well, let's see, how do we want to do this? I don't know, maybe this is the... Back standoff, maybe? Or back, uh... Down the lock button, maybe? I don't think I'm going to keep it high enough. Let's just try this. It's gonna be a pain in the butt once I get up there, but hope it'll keep these sticks out of my leg. I'm banging, that's not good. I'm getting caught in my lines. Come on, 
piece of bark back there was the problem. Uh, the little half hitch so that way it don't go nowhere. Keep moving that line is about up. We're all the way at the top of our climb. Gotta get our platform. Lift it up, tighten it down a little bit more, remove this, and give this a hard crank, push it down. Cam it over. Right here, it should be set. Now we're gonna need our tether. Saddle out of transport mode. Now, like those bridges, just a tiny bit shorter. Not a whole lot, but. Go ahead and clip in. A little bit of pressure on the, bit of pressure on the tether. All right, so now we're gonna make this transfer. That's right, so gonna feel it out. Make sure your platform's solid. to loosen some tension on your alignments. A little creak in this one. 
and I'm constantly wanting to go this way because of the lean of the trees. So you just got to be aware of stuff like that. I mean, it's really not wanting because I've got my got my tether offset a little bit, so that, that way it's not pulling me to the to the other side of the tree. Now at this point, you know, I would I would have my bag, and I'd go ahead and put my hiss strap up, and attach everything, pull my bow up through the bow rope. I could have stretched my feet a little more and probably made that extra couple feet, but and if you really had to, you could kind of drop off to the side and of course hopefully not hit that and scare the deer. You can kind of drop off and get your foot over here too if you need to lean back and shoot this direction. This direction is a little more scary. There you go. That is a first person climb. I'd say I'm probably, I don't know, 14 feet maybe. But if you're getting interested into saddle hunting and you're wondering what it's gonna look like once you get up top, this is this is what it's gonna look like. Got your feet right here. Sticks where you climbed up. Bridge tether. Now, what I just noticed that I did, and I shouldn't have did it, was I grabbed the Prusik, right? So just make sure you don't grab this Prusik, because if you grab it, you could bust it loose, and you're gonna start sliding, and it's gonna scare the crap out of you. So just, if you're gonna grab, grab here, or maybe grab here, grab the tail, something like that. So I guess that's really it. Uh, I mean, the timer's saying 22 minutes on the front of the camera. So I'd say it probably took me about 15 minutes to go ahead and do the actual climb itself. Uh, I'm still just practicing. You know, every time I do this, I run into something small, something that um, thankfully didn't happen in the woods during game time. So just keep on practicing and uh, we'll see what the season brings us. Thanks for watching.